Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the opening match. I'm Daniel. I'm Angel. And uh, yeah, tonight we're going to Bunkhouse Stampede, uh, NWA, uh, and it is a uh, television title match between uh, Nikita Koloff uh, going up against Bobby Eaton with uh, Jim Cornette in his corner. <laughs> it's Baldy versus Mullet. Feel better? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, let's talk a little bit about this match, the, the history leading into it. Uh, a little bit of the build up. Uh, Cornette, because uh, Bob Eaton is, of course, one half of the Midnight Express. They are the, uh, at this time, the current uh, U.S. Tag Team Champions. And uh, Cornette got him booked in just two single championship matches uh, Stan Lane with Nikita Koloff for the TV title, and Eaton with Dusty Rhodes for the U.S. title. And that kind of started a big tag team feud between the Midnight and Koloff and uh, Rhodes. Uh, I don't think. Midnight ever won the titles at all, but uh, still the war kept going. Uh, actually broke down to a series of uh, tag team cage matches. And then here we are today with this match, with Eaton uh, challenging for the TV title. So let's get into the actual match. Uh, the first part of it pretty much is just like literally they keep going for wrestling holds. And then like Call Off just hits uh, Eaton and then Eaton just goes down and goes outside and talks to Cornette. I'm not gonna lie, that's the best part of the match, in my opinion, is Jim Cornette on the outside, like, talking shit. Like, he's great at that. Uh, but then, you know, it, it goes back and forth for a little bit. But... He's repeating himself. Yeah, I'll, well, let me get to this first part. They, they, they do spill outside the ring, and uh, Bobby Eaton does take a pretty wicked face pump into the uh, still pole. Uh, and then, of course, you know, takes the bump on the concrete floor. Uh... I've done, I've, I've taken a bump in the ring. It sucks. Uh, I was horrible at it. Uh, I can't imagine doing it on the concrete. Like, I'll just cry. And so when I saw him get hip tossed onto the concrete, I was like, oh, fuck me. Like, that's that's brutal. But then they do get in the ring, and like you said, what what happens? Uh, Mullet keeps repeating his moves. It literally, he just keeps throwing him into, like, an arm bar, and he holds it forever. Yeah, and then he breaks it. Yeah, he'll get out of it. And then he repeats it again. And then he gets him right back into it. And he, he does this like three or four times. Probably like five times. About five, you think? Like, he just keeps doing it. And after a while, I'm just like, oh my God. And I mean, I guess wrestling, it, it's real because he's trying to make him submit. But it's like, that seems like the dumbest fucking strategy when you're fighting, you know, the Russian nightmare, this big motherfucker who doesn't quit, you know, like, yeah, let's, it's like trying to fight Undertaker, and your, uh, your, uh, offense is gonna be, I'm just gonna work on his knee and make him tap out, like, what? No, that, that's stupid, and that's what, and Eaton, like, doesn't do a whole lot of high fly, he's like, he has, like, one super drop kick, like, he has a top, or a top rope drop kick, that's it, everything else is just him trying to overpower him, and it just doesn't work until he gets the armbar on him, and then, of course, he holds the armbar for fucking ever, yeah. uh, and of course, we're out the bat, we get to like five minutes left, and we're just like, ah, oh, fuck. It's going to be another time on the draw. This is the second time we've done NWA, and this is the second time. It was a boring It's been match. a, well, it was boring, but then it was also just a time on the draw each time. And I'm just like, fuck. Uh, I did a call-off match before. I can't remember. I think he fought Terry Taylor uh, uh, for a review I did for Big Card Mania. And it was boring as shit, too. Like, I don't know if it's just call-off. Like, I heard he wasn't really that great in the ring. Like, you know, he was very crappy, but the other wrestlers were able to mask that. I don't know. I, I'm not going to lie. I was not too impressed with this match because it really was just boring. And then like I said, at the end, like they're counting down like three minutes left, they're still doing the arm bar thing. They did the arm bar until we got a minute left, or like 30 seconds left, and then finally Koloff gets out, hits a clothesline, or his Russian sickle, and then that's it. He gets like a one count, and then the time expires, and I'm just like... So, sweetie... And who, now, who is you voting for in this match? Baldy. You just voting for Koloff, all right. And what was your reason again? Because he's bald. Because he's bald. That was, she said, I like him because he's bald, and I don't like the mullet. That's that's her only thing. Like, forget the attitudes of the people in the ring or whatever. It was just, she based it on hairstyle. Uh, what did you think about this match? Boring. It was pretty boring. I won't deny you there. Normally, I, I roll my eyes at you and say you don't know shit. He was right. This is pretty boring. I think Mullet should have done, done more moves. Yeah. Like, this, well, this is like 88 NWA, so you ain't gonna get a whole lot of diversity in there. Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah, Eaton's still alive. I think, I think they both are, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
Yeah, and I guess like, the postscript of this match was after uh, after it ends, uh, Koloff uh, ends up snatching the uh, tennis racket from Cornette and threatening to beat him up with it, but then he gets jumped by Eaton, and then Stan Lane runs out there and the midnight just work over Koloff. Dusty Rhodes nowhere to be found. I was like, wow, really? He's like, I got a match. I can't, I can't take care of the, the Russian nightmare. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're giving kind of a thumbs down on this end. We didn't really care for it. Uh, let me know what you thought of this match in the comment section down below. And guys, tune in next hit week. Hit that subscribe button. That's right. Hit the subscribe. And uh, the, the notification bell, too. The notification bell? That's like, yeah. yeah, everybody keeps saying yeah. that. So, so you know when we upload a video. Yeah, but what if they're like eating dinner? They're gonna be like, oh, this guy keeps making videos. Fuck this guy. You don't care? They're like, fuck no. their dinner. They're like, fuck their dinner. Watch our videos. You guys heard it. She said, fuck your dinner. Watch our videos. No, I uh, can eat dinner and watch that at the same time. Can you do that at the same time? Yeah. I can't. I get choked. Anyways, uh, so yeah, let us know what you thought about this match down below. Next week, we're going to WrestleMania again. Another WrestleMania. WrestleMania 4 this time. And uh, yeah. Promises to be a better match. I already know what the match is, so I can't wait. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one. So that's all I got. So you get anything else? So. Oh, I do say so. I think you'll like the next one. Like the only one that you've liked so far was that uh, big ten man elimination match with Elvis. Uh -huh. That's like the only one you seem to really kind of get into. The rest of them you're just kind of like, eh. But I think you get into this next one. I think. Uh, so that's all I got. Getting else add? Nope. Nope. Uh, all right. Well, for Angel, I'm Daniel, and uh, we'll see you next week.